I'm Kendra. And I'm Ada. And, and welcome, welcome to this week's Royal Roundup. Recently, music artist NZ Rose returned to North Junior High to produce a new music video. We caught up with NZ and former Royal Roundup producer Mr. Houchin to do an interview. What's up everybody? I'm Matt Houchin. And I'm NZ Rose. I was formerly known as Mr. Houchin. I worked here at North Junior High and I was the video producer. And so today we are here doing the latest Nurse Ann Snack Cart music video. Yeah, super fun, super excited. So Audrey started this, NZ Rose started this uh, three years ago. Yeah, like three. So there's three Nurse Ann Snack Cart videos. Check them out on YouTube. Today we're making the fourth one. She produced the song. It was written by a student named AJ Forstad and uh, it's awesome. I'm at the high school now, so it's my junior year, a lot of work. Um, I'm on the basketball team and I'm just doing music, doing shows, and you know, it's pretty exciting being able to move on from the junior high, and move on up to the high school. It's a lot of work, but well worth it. All right, I work in San Francisco now at a tech company. I do video production. I'm part of a small creative team at a company called App Dynamics. We do videos for kind of like the Royal Roundup. We do a, a weekly show that we send out to all our employees. We do a lot of fun skits, song parodies, uh, little sketches, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's a lot of I like what I did here, uh, but I definitely miss being at North. But I love being in the Bay Area, and uh, I still watch the Royal Roundup. Every Friday, it pops into my YouTube subscription feed, and I check it out and see what you guys are up to. So keep up the good work, everybody. We text all the time, so <laughs> yeah. we're, uh, we're homies. <laughs> and, um, so, but yeah, always good to see yeah. NZ. Uh, she always sends me like new interviews that she's done, and uh, I always keep up with her music on Spotify and stuff like that. But yeah, super fun to see her today and work with her again. Always nice. Everyone, check out NZ Rose on all music streaming platforms. <laughs> We're looking forward to sharing the new snack cart video as soon as it comes out. North Junior High Pride includes being inclusive. You're still laughing about it? Yeah. Oh, there goes Jasmine. Oh my god, do you see? She was wearing an ugly jacket. Hey, you guys. Can I walk with you? Sorry, I'm and walking we have with a crime. We're good. We have to I don't have anyone to walk with. Okay. I no, 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 get <laughs> okay. Next time, make a better choice. Our roving reporters have been out asking you about the culture in your home and how that is reflected in your favorite family meals. Do you guys have family food traditions? Yes. What is it? We eat lot because I'm Kanaka. Sambusas. Um, I eat. Chicken, mac and cheese, green beans. I don't eat chillins, but chitlins. Um, and then you already know, got to top it out with the Kool-Aid. So, you know? Okay, so my mom is Native American. So she makes like a lot of different kinds of soups and stuff like butternut squash soup. I don't really like it. And all these other kinds of soups. And then my dad is black, so he makes a lot of good food. He makes like greens and mac and cheese, but he also makes a lot of soups. And yeah. My favorite food that my mom makes is uh, palm butter. It's like a curry, but it's a Liberian dish with, on top of rice. Love it. We make a traditional uh, carrot and parsnip dish. And it's um, something that's been passed down from my husband's uh, parents, and their parents, and their grandparents. Uh, I eat latkes and plenty many. Um, I eat latkes. Um, foods that my family eats a lot, like for holidays and stuff, is we have a lot of rice and chicken fried rice. We have a lot of chicken, I guess. <laughs> um, and spaghetti. We have a lot of spaghetti too. I like apple pie. I like sambusa. I like, I like, we make potatoes. Um, cultural foods I eat at home ham, butter, um, cassava leaf, uh, a lot of African foods. Because my dad is African, so, yeah. <laughs> Ham with gravy. Chicken, watermelon, uh, greens, <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> yeah, one of my food traditions is, because um, I'm Native American, have Native American, so we eat something called Indian tacos. It's basically fried bread. We just eat that, you put in a taco. It's really good. 
I eat matzo, which is like unleavened bread with like pizza sauce and cheese. So it's like pizza made with matzo. I guess I have my own food tradition. I eat peanut butter jelly sandwich for lunch every day. I eat uh, soul food, you know, seafood, stuff like that. Pretty good for you. My mother cooks us food, like, because she's from Ukraine. She makes, like, borscht. My grandma likes making food, and she's from Jamaica, and she makes cassava leaf on rice. My grandma makes homemade raviolis a lot for us because she's from Italy. Um, usually when we go over to Michael's house for Thanksgiving, we have smoked turkey so because my uncle likes to smoke stuff. Uh, one of my family's favorite foods is Swedish sausage. So cultural foods I eat at home is fried rice, jello rice, plantain, pandiam. Green bean casserole. Yes, and it's called injera. It's a East African dish. Thank you. Did you enjoy turkey bingo? Here's a quick flashback of the fun. It's turkey bingo time! And here we go! B10! B10! G47! G47! In game number two, we are starting fresh. I'm hearing some more. I-28. I-28. G-47. Hey! Gobble, gobble. Shout out to Mr. Lovin. Shout out to Miss Salzer. This is AJ. You better give me some candy for this. Shout out to Mr. LaPresti's class. Shout out Miss Hahn. Shout out Mr. Sherhart. Shout out Miss Gomez. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Hi, this is a public service announcement. Lately, some students have been noticing that the hallways are really congested for various regions. For example, students are stopping to talk during passing times, and this is causing very slow moving traffic, and sometimes that makes students late to class. One quick tip to remember. While talking to your friends in the halls, please keep moving and be aware of yourself and your surroundings so you don't block the hallway for others. If you would like to stop, step out of the intersection and to the blue tape sections. Doing this will keep the hallways less congested and your fellow students less stressed about getting to class on time. Thank you and please keep this in mind during passing time. It's time for the pride drawing. Kojor Kreese, grade seven, recognized by Ms. Han for being determined. Antoinette Doe, recognized by Miss Rosenberg for showing pride. Elias M, recognized by Miss Frintz, grade seventh, for excellence. Hashim Ali, recognized by Miss Rosenberg, grade seventh, for being determined. Dante A, recognized by Mr. Leaf in seventh grade for being determined and excellent. Zaniah Robinson, recognized by Ms. Rosenberg, grade 7, for being determined. North Junior High Pride! Thanks for watching. Next week is Hour of Code. 800 million people from over 180 countries will take part in coding activities. We invite you to take part in the coding community here at North. We encourage you to join the NJH Dance Party by coding dancers along with some great music at hourofcode.com slash dance 2019. If you complete the Hour of Code, submit your name at bit.ly slash capital NJH codes to earn a certificate and join the Hour of Code movement. Watch for more information. It's time to push yourself to learn something new, coding. I started playing basketball, tennis, football, football, cuando era un niño. Getting really good at something isn't easy. It takes persistence and hard work. It takes years of commitment. Success isn't just about training your body. It's also about training your mind. Your body and brain get stronger when you push yourself. I didn't always know I'd be a basketball champion. Não sei mais cosa ti riserva il futuro. Os futuros campeões serão os criadores. Aquellos con el talento para cumplir su sueño. You can dream it, you can do it. You can bring any idea to life. It's not going to be easy. It takes time and determination like anything else. 
You'll make mistakes, you'll get better. You'll get stronger and you'll succeed. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. Push yourself. You did it. Oh, respect. Anybody can learn. Some of the things you will see. What's up, NJH? It's your Vice President of the Student Council, Oscar Wolf. And your President, Avery Buettner. And today we have a quick little announcement from Student Council for you. Are you a SEVI? Are you an 8th grader and you ready to dance? Are you sad that you don't have a dance and the 9th graders do? Student Council has got your back. This year we're having an all grades mixer. The date isn't confirmed yet, so stay tuned for further information. What's that? Thump, thump. Thump thump. My heart is racing, cause guess what I'm excited for? The mixer! <laughs> Just to clarify, this all grade mixer is not instead of the ninth grade dance in the spring, it's in addition to. So get excited and stay tuned for more information. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for all the kids in the school. Thankful for my mom, my dad, taking my whole family, my best friend. Hey. That's it for this week's Royal Roundup. Thanks for watching. See you next time.